Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's review of the Alpine Stars SPX Boa Boots. I've got a confession to make. I'm a bit of a fusspot when it comes to bike boots. I don't feel comfortable riding in the short trainer style boots that have become common recently, but I still prefer to wear my trousers over the top of my boots. That's not always easy, but with these Alpine Stars SPX Boas, I found some boots that are close to perfection for me. Alpine Stars describe these as mid-length boots because they don't come up as high as full sports boots like their Supertech R or their SMX Plus, but they're tall enough for me for road riding and the slim fitting section around the shin still leaves plenty of room to get my trousers over the top. That top section fastens with Velcro, but the main work is done by the BOA system. If you've not seen these, pushing the wheel in and rotating it towards the toes tensions a plastic cord and that tightens the boot around the foot and the ankle. It's a brilliant system that gives proper control over how tight or relaxed you want the fit to be. I think it allows the entry to be opened wider than it would be with a zip and it definitely allows the boots to be pulled in tighter as well. Each click tensions the cord by around 1.5 millimeters, so it gives very fine control over how tight you want them to be. Other boots with similar fasteners not made by BOA have both adjuster wheels turning clockwise to tighten and anti-clockwise to release. These BOAs have a clockwise tensioner on the right boot and an anti-clockwise tensioner on the left, which means you turn them both in the same direction when you're looking down at the boot. That's a simple thing, but it just makes life a little bit easier. When you want to take the boots off again, pulling the wheel outwards freeze the tension and then you can open the boots up to remove them. The outer for these boots is made from three main materials. There's synthetic leather, which you see down the sides, around the toes, and also for the shin wrap. The front section here is made from Lycra. That's been overlaid as well with TPU material and it gives good flexibility. And then the section covering the calf is made from Alpine Star's own ride knit material, which is a hard wearing but very flexible knitted textile. That upper is reinforced in the usual areas. You get plastic cups around the toes, the heels, gear change protector as well, and also there are toe sliders. Those sliders aren't replaceable. Some might have an issue with that, but I can't remember ever wearing through a toe slider on the road, so it doesn't worry me personally. There's no CE rated impact protection on the boots. There would be a marker on the CE label inside if that was the case. The shin wrap is a bit stiffer than straight synthetic leather, and there are small inserts either side of the ankle as well. The sole on these boots has got a good solid feel, it gives good feedback through the pegs of the bike and it's also very comfortable for walking around. It's quite a sporty sole rather than one that's chunky treaded for grip on loose surfaces. Now going inside the boot, first thing we see is the CE label that details the protection level. The first category is for height, these are tall enough to be rated at the higher level 2 in that regard. Next is abrasion resistance and that's another level 2 pass for these boots on that score. There's another level 2 pass for resistance to cuts from sharp edges as well. The basic level one pass at the end, that's for transverse rigidity. This measures the ability for a boot to resist the sort of forces you'd get if your foot was trapped under the weight of a bike like this. There's also no waterproof membrane inside these boots. These aren't waterproof and they weren't designed to be. Now, I'd normally prefer to wear waterproof boots, but I've enjoyed the extra breathability that comes with wearing boots with no membrane inside. I have been caught out in some reasonably heavy rain and I've found that these boots still kept out most of that water. Now I wear these for the commute to work on dry days and if the weather changes through the day and I get wet feet on the ride home then so be it. If I know in the morning that it's going to be raining heavily or if I'm away for a few days and there's a threat of heavy rain then I will still take waterproof boots with me. If the lack of waterproofing is the only thing that puts you off these boots then we are expecting a waterproof version of these very soon from Alpine Stars. Down deeper inside there's an ortholite insole that's perforated to reduce heat buildup and can also be replaced if it loses its spring over time. There's an insert of softer material underneath the insole. It's embedded into the main sole around the heel and that also makes walking more comfortable. Okay, let's cover off some essentials before I wrap up. The SPX Boas cost £339 as we record this. Come in Euro sizes from 38 to 47 In UK money, that's from four up to 11 and a half. I wore my normal size and I've been fine with that, but if you're on the cusp of two sizes, then I'd suggest starting with a larger of those two sizes. These boots come in two color options. There's this silver and black design and there's also plain black. Okay, hopefully by now you've worked out that I'm a fan of these boots after a couple of thousand miles on the road. They're good on the bike, they're great off it, and these are the boots that I keep going back to, even if the weather conditions aren't perfectly suited to them. I feel the balance of protection and comfort is exactly where I want them to be. These boots are so comfy that on some work days it's taken me an hour or so to remember that I'm still wearing my riding boots in the morning. Actually, I can't remember wearing a more comfortable pair of full-length bike boots at all, ever.
I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Alpine Stars SPX Boa boots. But if there's anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.